Hello, this is Harker Devine, and today we are going to be reading SCP-2181. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-2181, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2181 is housed in a standard humanoid containment cell at Site-145. Monitoring is to be done by closed circuit camera only. Cells should not have windows. Cell door is to be furnished with an external manual non-electric lock. In addition to standard sight at wide remote electronic locking mechanisms. The door is to remain closed and locked while personnel are within the cell. Should SCP-2181 lock the door to its containment cell, personnel are to wait 15 minutes before manually disengaging the lock and re-engaging remotely. SCP-2181 is supplied with a missing bottle of saline in fluid that should be refilled every two days. Requests for food, music, and toys are to be brought to the site director for approval. Addendum. After event 2181-02, personnel within the a container cell are to remain at least 5 meters from locked doors in the event that SCP-2181 becomes distressed. Description SCP-2181 is a small humanoid of intermittent dent gender with semi-opaque skin, appearing approximately 7 years of age. SCP-2181 has not Age visibly sense containment, it does not require physical assistance, so it often makes requests for baked sweets. The orbits of the eyes are 11 and, four and a half centimeters in diameter, nearly five times that of a typical seven year old human. With the company deformities to the frontal, parietal, and uh, zygomatic bones in the, of the cranium, the eyelids are disproportionate and small in comparison, and SCP 2181 has developed. Karato Okonjabaitis Sika. What the hell does that mean? Excessive dryness of the ice. You have just said that. Come on, SCP. As a result, SCP-2181 has considerably greater visual acuity and range than a normal human. Testing has revealed that SCP-2181 can close and lock any door within sight as well as windows, hatches, and any other cutter covered place in covering place in a wall, ceiling, or floor. SCP-2181 is not capable of opening doors at a distance. SCP-2181 will choose and lock or seal the doors red, seemingly at random, reacting with extreme distress if not allowed or able to do so. Its behavior when not alone is otherwise generally considered normal for a seven-year-old child. SCP-2181 displays a number of abnormal behaviors, including giggling to itself when alone, violent play with toys, and extreme fear responses to door slamming, and unexpected changes in its surroundings. It is generally introverted and tends to mumble when speaking. Dr. Y. Gant has given a diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder, likely suffering from emotional abuse, and has been assigned as SCP-2181's psychologist as of an unknown date. Though introversion and Reluctance to communicate have increased since at event 218102. SCP-2181 has was contained on March 1st, 1976, when it exited Site 145, Third Floor Men's Laboratory, closing and sealing the door it's behind itself. The laboratory door was not equipped with the lock. SCP-2181 announced to be hidden from a malevolent entity or forest, details of which have not been provided to date. The laboratory wall had to be manually breached to act a skew of two personnel locked within. And then them. Log of Event 2181-02 Preface Dr. Amelia a uh, wagon, head researcher for 2181, had uh, served as, 80, as 2181 and psychologist for the past four years, with the hope of reducing its introversion and gaining information about its in or origin. Timestamp 
It was 4.52 p.m. on a random date in the in 1980. Events starts with Dr. Watt again bringing the session to a close and directing 2181 to clean up building and block toys. The containment cell door is closed per regulations. 22 minutes into the, into the event, Dr. Rygon asks 2181 if it wishes to talk about where it came from. SCP-2181 shakes, shakes their head and does not answer. Dr. Rygon asks if it will describe how to reach Site-145. 2181 responds that it just walked in and ignores further questions while silently gathering blocks. 1 minute 7 seconds into the event, SCP-2181 cries out an alarm, turning to cell door. The metal electromagnetic locking mechanism engages. One minute and fifteen seconds, and then Doctor Y got and oh moves to the door and discovers it is locked. Doctor Y and informs SCP twenty one eighty one that future play a sessions will be jeopardized if she is not allowed to leave the containment cell. One and a half minutes into the event, SP-2181 looks at Dr. Rygon and places a finger against its lips. Site staff reports containment cell, L door lock override, unresponsive. Dr. Rygon continues attempting to open the door and entreats 2181 to unlock it. Almost two minutes in, containment cell door opens, a hand approximately two meters high, covered in unidentified crystal formations emerges from inside containment cell airlock. Grasps Dr. Rygon and draws it through the door. Personnel of a lies outside containment cell report that outer door has been replaced with a view of deep space. Command advises team should not engage. 2181 screams. Containment cell door slams shut. 210. Outer door reappears, but is still locked. 60 minutes and 40 seconds later, remote lock overrides engage. First note, I'll enter cell and find no sign of Dr. Rygon. SCP-2181 is curled in field position in corner for is from the door crying. End note. SCP-2181 was unresponsive until moved to a new containment cell, at which time it locked the door and would not allow out override a remote override for a period of 255 hours. Surveillance indicated it spent most of its time sitting on a bed or in giggling or sleeping. When asked about the incident, SCP-2181 refused to provide any information about the entity or the whereabouts of Dr. Weigand. Containing procedures updated on an unknown date in 1980. Hmm. Addendum. Log of Event-2181. 04. On June 12th, 2005, because I'm American, I'm gonna assume it's his date. Site 145 experience of power failure and site wide containment breach. See document 81 CV E2005 1206. SCP 2181 did not leave itself during this time. After containment was reestablished, routine containment checks revealed SCP 2181 playing with a small artifact made of a Crudely interlocking bones. Artifact was recovered and classified as anomalous item 218101. Bones not conform to any known shape. Testing revealed them to contain human DNA mixed with cetacean DNA and that of a third unknown species. Human DNA did not match any individual on file. Bones were inscribed with a series of lines that when interpreted it with as binary code, read as follows. Once upon a time, there was a little prince who wandered where he shouldn't, saw a thing he shouldn't. He tried to run away and closed the door behind. That silly little prince. It's not like he can hide. When questioned about the item SCP-2181's Ed, Amelia sends her, her love. Examination of security footage did not reveal how SCP-2181 procured the item. On an unknown day in 2014, a human right arm 
severed and eight centimeters below the shoulder, was found on a hallway floor outside. SV 2181's containment cell and subsequently classified anomalous item 21802. Surveillance footage gives no indication of how AI 21802 arrived at site 145. So repetition. Crushing revealed no law, knowledge of the item by SCP-2181. Forensic an, al, an, analysis indicated that the arm had been amputated with a serrated blade. It had previously been split along the anterior side. The bones were removed and replaced with bones onto a similar composition to those of SCP-2181-01. The analysis of the surrounding tissue indicated the arm belonged to Dr. Amelia Weigand. Identification of the ring on the fourth Finger confirmed this, inscribed into the door or so far, uh, surface of the forearm was a message in Morse code, translated before below. This is not the print. Analysis concluded the message was inscribed via ray blade, though whether it was the same blade used to amputate the arm is unclear. Evidence of containment of SCP the evaluation of containment of SCP twenty one eighty one is ongoing. And that was SCP-2181. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!